I'm Colleen and I don't like salmon. And I'm Shannon and I don't like cranberry. And we're Picky Eaters! Where are we today, Colleen? Today we're at Hollywood Studios. It's Dapper Day. And we are gonna eat at Hollywood and Vines for lunch. Yeah. Tell us about Hollywood and Vines. Tell us about what's special about Hollywood and Vines this time. Of year. Hollywood and Vine is a buffet. It is $59 per adult and $38 per child. Uh, but Hollywood and Vine, they do themed uh, they do themed meals according to the season. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, That's okay. They do themed meals according to the season. So you meet characters and they're themed outfits. So like Halloween time, they're in Halloween outfits, and so right now they're in Christmas outfits. And it's always like like minis. Yeah. Party. So minis always. Yeah. yeah, minis always like it's minis part. Yeah. yeah, we're at minis. It's a buffet, but it has lots of things. Here's the sort of listings of things: assorted breads, kale, kale, apple, and cranberry salad, couscous salad with cilantro lime, shrimp. Sour cream and chive with potatoes, caramelized Brussels sprouts, seared salmon, oven roasted chicken, mushroom risotto, tofu with Asian glazed, roasted pork, margarine and cheese with shrimp and bacon, olive oil, herb crushed potatoes, tenderloin steak, crispy pork belly, there's allergy stuff, uh, some featured cocktails, the same magical beacon, iridescent celebration. Long Island iced tea, margarita, Mai Tai, Bloody Mary, mimosas. Yeah, I thought uh, sounds nice. Margaritas, let's see, there's white wine, sangria, red wine, sangria, beer, and the menu. So our family every Christmas Eve watches the movie White Christmas. In White Christmas is a pair of sisters, and they're introduced with the song they sing, Sisters, and they wear these outfits. Not, I mean, Colleen created these. But outfits that mostly look, look like very them. similar to this. Everybody loves them. And also it comes with a fan and it's very hot. So they have giant fans though. They do. But you should know that it's December and it's 80 degrees. Yeah. Could be worse, could be better. Let's so, get inside. Yeah, let's go eat. to drink, they taste like mimosas. I mean, I love a mimosa. Maybe not like the, I've had better mimosas, but it's a mimosa. Like, okay, let's see. So first I've got, well, okay, so I got grapes. So I felt like I had something healthy. It's a grape. They're very hard, but they taste like grapes. Okay, these are the sour cream, and chive mashed potatoes. It's very creamy, sour cream tends to make mashed potatoes creamier. You know, they've got like an extra something to them that I don't personally need, but it's fine. These are the like olive oil roasted potatoes. like peppers and stuff so you can kind of taste that but again they're fine I'll eat this Brussels sprout these are the crispy Brussels sprouts which potato do you prefer 
I think I like the sour cream mashed potatoes better. Oh, and I don't like those Brussels sprouts. My husband makes Brussels sprouts. I love them. They're great. I don't remember what these were called exactly. I gotta look. Caramelized. So I guess it's like they have like a caramel taste to them. Like there's something more than just, my husband just roasts them. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna eat more. I got this barbecue meatball. That's pretty good. I like that. And then I got the beef tenderloin. Let's try this. That was just okay. It's kind of dry. Like, I might eat the rest of this piece of beef tenderloin, but it's just kind of like it's fine. And I like the meatball better. So then I got, I got this piece of bread. Oh no, there's barbecue sauce on it. I can't eat it. It looks like it's just like, it's just bread. Yep, that tastes like bread. You know, there's like salads and stuff that we didn't get. There's lots of stuff, but it's all fine. I liked, I think the mashed potatoes and the meatball were the best so far. So I also got a mimosa. It tastes like a mimosa. I agree, not like the best mimosa ever, but it's fine. Hits the spot. I got one of the like French rolls and put butter on it, so. That's good, you know. Pretty basic baguette like roll. I also got some sour cream and chive mashed potatoes. And I don't think you pointed out, they do still have like the skin in them. But they're so creamy, you almost don't notice the skin. It is like blended in there. Yeah, those are good. Very creamy. And then I got yet a third kind of potato. I don't remember what this one was, like oven roasted potatoes. So. That was kind of boring. Let me try another bite. Quite a statement coming from us. Well, it's not, and I know I waited a few minutes because you did your food first, but it's not very warm and it's not seasoned. It's just very plain. So, meh. I also got grapes, but I've eaten them all. And then I got some oven roasted chicken. That's good, it's very smooth. And just a little bit spicy, but not too spicy. I feel like we've been saying that a lot in recent episodes. It's spicy, but not too spicy. But I guess it's spicier than I expected. But it's fine and I'll still eat it. Not like my favorite roast, but um, roast chicken. It's just kind of fine. Because other than that like bit of spice, it's not like super seasoned. We talked about beer garden. That was the first buffet we did in these videos. Obviously, we've done buffets before. This is only the second buffet we've done. This is a bit more traditional buffet. And you know, buffet food is not usually as, or at least you don't expect it to be as high quality as regular table service. And so I feel like I'm getting that of like, the potatoes are really good. You really like the meatball, but then like the chicken's just fine and these other potatoes are just fine. Now I did get two bites of tofu. Sesame seed, saucy, I don't remember what kind of sauce, but I was like, I'm gonna get something adventurous for the internet. I don't know if or when I've had just like straight tofu. I've had tofu corn dogs that I really like. 
Oh my god, it's Santa glue for you. Okay, we're gonna try it. Should I just put the whole thing in my mouth? Should I take a bite? So it's a sweet and sour sauce. Or, yeah. Like a teriyaki sauce. I don't know. Forget differences. It tastes like chicken I've had from Chinese restaurants, but a little bit different. Because it's not chicken, it's tofu. But that's fine. I don't like it as much as I would like chicken. But I think I like it better than this oven roasted chicken. Two very different things, very different seasoning, but yeah, I think I like this better. Pluto! I probably wouldn't reach for it again, but maybe. That's round one. We might get some more food and then we'll get dessert. I got some more fruit. We don't like vegetables, but we like fruit. Unsurprisingly, it tastes like fruit. And then I got the pork belly, which I'm gonna be real with you, in no way looks appetizing to me. Like, you can see the fat in it, and like, I just, it grosses me out. It's just pork. I know, but it just, it looks gross to me. Yeah, that's fine. It has sort of like, there's like a glaze on it. It's got almost a cranberry taste to it. It's very like moist and melts in your mouth. I got this weird, like it's red, but. Uh, almost lost it. Almost lost it, but everything's fine. Kind of looks like not. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what is this? I think it is naan, so now I put butter on it, and that tastes quite strange. These little naan circles. I've lost my napkin, so we gotta be very careful. I got some mac and cheese with bacon and shrimp. So here's a tiny shrimp, and it's got like panko on it, always good. Okay, and let's get, I guess this is a piece of bacon. Meh. I'm not huge on bacon. And some mac and cheese. It's mostly mac and cheese. There's not a lot of shrimp and bacon in it, but. That's good. Yeah, I really like that. I mean, I like basically all mac and cheese. That's just creamy, not too cheesy. The panko. It's a very good um, light panko breading that adds texture and taste but isn't like too much or too little. And then just when eating the mac and cheese, you get a little bit of that smoky bacon shrimp flavor. So then I also got a spoonful of beef and vegetable stew. It's like, why not? Some very soft beef. And then it's like carrots and green beans. Mm. That is melt in your mouth. Melt in your mouth beef. That's very good. So that's very good beef. That's the, I mean, I guess I had chicken and tofu, but I like the, that beef the best of the meat items. Let's get some carrots and green beans. <laughs> the green beans and carrots were fine. Just kind of meh, just tasted like vegetables, but the beef was really good. Oh, 
I just grabbed one of everything. So we have Mississippi mud pie and a carrot cupcake and a PB and J tart and a cheesecake thing and this magic candy bar that appears to just have everything ever made on it. So I'm gonna s I'll start with the cheesecake because I don't like cheesecake so that I can erase the taste as soon as possible from my mouth. <laughs> yep, that's that. <laughs> that's cheesecake. It's like, it's a texture and it's a flavor thing. Like, it's a weird texture and I hate it. Okay. This is a peanut butter and jelly tart. Okay. That's kind of interesting. So it's like the tart and then the jelly filling and then like peanut butter mousse on top. It's not bad. It's kind of like weird and different, but like it's fine. This is like, God, I don't even know. I think you might just have to buy it. I can, I can do it. I got it. Maybe. No? Yes. Okay. There's Oreo in this. There's definitely some M&M's. I think there's some coconut on top. It's a cookie. I don't know. Who's that? Funny, who's that? Yeah, that's, that's just like everything put in one thing. I don't really like coconut. There's definitely some peanut butter in there. Now I guess I'll do the carrot cake. That's weirdly got an R2D2 wrapper. Yeah. I like don't mind carrot cake. I don't like cream cheese frosting, which is what comes on carrot cake. That's... That's fine if you like cream cheese frosting. Like, I thought the carrot cake was good. The frosting wasn't bad, like, not too overwhelming to me. Now, Mississippi mud pie, which is like a chocolate cake with like chocolate pieces and whipped cream and it looks great. That's definitely my favorite. Now you gotta try it all, Shannon. Okay, cheesecake. Butter jelly tart. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, it tastes like peanut butter jelly. Just in different forms than you're used to. I mean, the jelly is mostly jelly consistency, but that's good. That's a bit more interesting and fun for kids. Let's get some of this cookie. Yeah, definitely some peanut butter. I don't think I got any coconut in that bite. That's good. Some M&M. Yeah, I mean, I think if you like all this stuff, then it would be fun. But... It's also like, I think it would be more fun for kids, assuming the kids like all this stuff. I don't know how kids usually feel about coconut, but it could be kind of too sugary for adults. That bite I had didn't necessarily taste too sugary, but okay, carrot cake that, yeah, is weirdly R2-D2. Thing, but like, like carrot cake in general, not my favorite, but I like that. Curls on top, and it's a nice little extra crunch. Okay, and mud cake. 
I mean, the mud pit, this is what, if I was looking at a menu and had to order something, this is the only one I would want to order. That's good. The cake itself is very rich, which is nice. Let me get some of the like chocolate shingles. China's hard as I thought they'd be. Yeah, that one's probably my favorite. And then probably the carrot cake would be my second favorite. Cheesecake's the only one that I just don't like. Mostly pretty good desserts. Pretty on a very wide array. And there's more. And there's more. <laughs> Last round of desserts. I got the apple crisp and put some vanilla ice cream on it. I know I've said before that like I prefer apple pie to apple crisp because crust is really the best part. But here we go. Now I put ice cream on it, so you're gonna be like, obviously it's cold, but it's it's cold. Like it's not like this is warm. It's been sitting out there. It was like, oh, this is about to be replaced. So that kind of like makes it less good. Of like, it's not like, oh, the apple is warm, and but the ice cream is cold. You know what I mean? The apple is room temperature. It's fine. I'll eat some of it. Not like amazing, it's not the best, but it's fine. So I got the bread pudding, looked at it, thought that's gross, said that looks gross. Um, we're gonna try it. Are these like raisins on top? Maybe? I don't think it'll be as gross as my brain is telling me it is. So we've had bread pudding, we had bread pudding at Kona. I feel like I've had bread pudding another time. And it's not like my favorite at all, but like, I've been fine with all bread puddings. Okay. Okay. There was something hard in that bite, it must have been a raisin. First thing I thought was like cinnamon. Very cinnamony. I would like it better without the raisins. Mostly just because of texture. Like, I'm not a huge fan of bread pudding texture because it just feels very mushy to me, but I like it less when there's also something hard in there. It feels like something has gone wrong. So I'm gonna get a bite that does not appear to have raisin. Yeah. I like the cinnamon taste. It feels like it's reminding me of something, but I can't think of what. I don't know. It's like like cinnamon donuts. And it's very warm. It was not like very recently put out, but it was a relatively fresh batch. Okay, so not gross, but I could do without raisins. Or maybe the bite I had was this like crust. I think there's a little bit of a like crust at the bottom. And that might have been the hard piece in my first bite. But still, I don't I didn't like an unexpected hard piece. But the flavor is good. Even like the flavor of the raisins is good. It's just the texture of it that I don't like. We're here at Cosmic Grace. Same day, different clothes. Yes, it is the same day. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes we don't come to Cosmic Grays, but it's been a while, I feel like, since we've come to Cosmic Grace. But we are here to talk about our lunch. Our late lunch, I don't know if we spe specified that it was a lunch, but I think it's probably the same at lunch and dinner at Hollywood and Vine at Hollywood Studios. That feels like days ago. <laughs> Doesn't it? Days ago. Listen, it takes days to get to Magic Kingdom, so. I liked best the sour cream and chives mashed potatoes. Me too. Me we both too. liked that. And then I liked the beef stew. I mean, specifically, I liked the beef in the beef stew. Mm -hmm. Vegetables were just like meh. Dessert-wise, I liked the mud pie the best. But the cheesecake was the only dessert that I like didn't like. 
Yeah. Well, and I didn't try the apple, but... Um, you don't like apples. Yeah. So, other than that, there wasn't really anything that stood out to me. Except I liked the bread. Yeah, bread. I like the bread. I like the same potatoes. I liked the barbecue meatballs. Those were good. Um, and yeah, I liked the Mississippi mud pie dessert. Though, same, other than the cheesecake, none of the desserts were like, oh, this is awful. And if you like cheesecake, you yeah. probably like the cheese fat. But most of the food really is just like fine. Just okay buffet food. Yeah. Because we did try quite a lot of it. We did. So it's a cool thing to like take your kids to. It's a cool way. Character meals are a great way to meet like a yeah. lot of characters without having to stand and in So line. this one was Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, and Pluto. And so it's always them, but in different outfits for the different seasons. But in the morning, breakfast is Disney Junior characters. Yeah, so if you have like little kids, that's yeah. great. Um, or older kids who yeah. like Disney Junior characters. And there's no photographs photographer, so you take each other's pictures. Yes. Or I saw a couple times a cast member like took a picture. And so, if you are picky, it's food that, like, picky eaters like us can eat. Yeah. But um, if you're like, man, I want some super high quality food. Good food. Then there's probably better places to go. But yeah, good for kids, families. Yeah. And a, an easy way to meet characters without standing in line. Yes. You're not going to necessarily have the prettiest pictures, but... And you do get to meet them in, like, different outfits. Yeah. So if you're like, oh, I want something Christmassy, which that's the whole reason we did it, was because yeah. it was Christmassy. So I think a three out of I think five. three, too, because I, I was thinking, like, two and a half for the food, but I think, yeah. you know, the, you do get to meet characters. It's not like, oh, man, this restaurant's amazing, like, it's like a, an amazing experience. We do yeah. get to meet characters, which is fine. It's three out of five chicken nuggets. So, no episode in January. No, we're taking a break. We're taking a break. But we will be back in February. At? Morimoto at Disney Springs. Yes, we're on somewhere where we won't like food. And we've never been there. Yeah. Yep. So, that'll be interesting. Make sure to like. Comment. Nice things. Subscribe. Follow us on social media. We are on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok at WDW Picky Eaters. And coming soon. Coming soon, we're gonna have a video from Universal where we try almost all of the butterbeer mm -hmm. items. There was one that was not available. Yep. You'll have to watch to see which one. So that'll be our first little Universal thing on social media. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye.